Hello. This is a tutorial video for Globulation 2. I will be playing through the introduction and basics mission so that instead of playing through the tutorial you can just watch it instead especially considering uh, if you have a high resolution screen uh, there is no scaling in this so uh, I will be able to read these out for you so you don't have to squint Welcome to the Globulation 2 tutorial. This tutorial is long and in depth, so you may have to pull out lots of time to complete it. If at any time you feel as if you don't have enough time to complete the tutorial, click the menu icon, which is the small icon in the upper left hand corner of this mini map, which is on the upper right hand corner of the screen, and click save. You can load your game from the main menu. There it is there. Uh, by clicking load again, use the spacebar to continue with messages. Some messages may disappear entirely after you hit space. This is normal. Use H to look at messages after they have disappeared. Let's first have a look at what's going on. You have a swarm and a worker. Your worker harvests wheat and brings it to the swarm. The swarm is a building that constructs new units, so it is very important when playing a game. Now click on your globule, the mobile unit, with your left mouse button. Look on the right side of the screen. It now shows information about that globule. As you can see, its food level is decreasing with time. This means that the globule is getting more and more hungry. The blue bar under the globule reflects its decreasing level of nutrition. Your globule needs an in to be able to eat. Unselect your globule by clicking the right mouse button. Now construct an in. To do that, click on the first icon under the minimap. Right now there is only one, but as we will see later, there can be several. Then on the in icon. Now place your in near a wheat field. The wheat may be hard to see, but if you follow the path that your globule took when it was harvesting, you will find one. When you're done placing the in, exit the construction mode by clicking the right mouse button. I'm not sure which thing is wheat. Carrying that, I don't know, whatever. Good. Your building site has been placed. You probably saw a second worker appear out of the swarm. The second worker will work at the inn. The inn needs wood to be constructed. So the worker will head over to the nearest forest and harvest some wood to help put the building together. It is just a matter of time before the building will be finished. This I guess is rainbow wood, these trees. And this is, must be the wheat up here. Yes it is, wheat. Ah, wood, I see now. The wood is globulated, like most things. Now that the inn is finished, a free worker will begin harvesting wheat for it in the same manner that the swarm's worker does. Looking at the inn, you'll see a yellow bar that is rising as the globule harvests more wheat. As you may have guessed, this bar represents how much wheat is in the inn, inside the inn. Now, let's have a look at the task system. For now, you have one unit bringing food to the swarm and the second one to the inn. One of the two units may be inside the inn eating right now. This is okay. Click on the swarm. If you look to the right hand side again, you'll notice a bar at the top labelled working. This bar tells how many units you want to be assigned 
to the swarm. You will notice that on either side of the bar, there are two arrows. You can use the arrows to either increase or decrease the number of notches on the bar, and thus the number of units assigned to the building. Decrease the number of units assigned to the swarm to zero, and then do the same thing for the inn. Uh, this first sentence is not quite right, I think. Uh, you will notice that on either side of the bar, there is an arrow. Not there are two arrows. There are not two arrows on each side of the bar. That would be four arrows in total. There are only two arrows in total. One on either side of the bar. But uh, that, that's just minor. A minor little thing. Now all your workers are idle. They continue to eat, however. So be careful not to let your Ian run out of food. Careful has one L, not two. I may hit up GitHub after this and uh, submit some push request, pull requests. A pull request. If one of your globules can't find an inn to eat at, maybe because all of the inns are empty, its health will decrease. So you will have to build a hospital to heal it. Using the same method that you did for the inn, Construct a hospital. Unlike the inn, however, your hospital doesn't need to be near wheat, so try to place it near wood instead, or even in a more central place, such as near your swarm. I will place it near the wood. Good. Look on the newly built foundation for the hospital, and assign two units to work on it. The hospital will be constructed very quickly now with that increased number of units. That already happened. Good. Now, if your globules get hurt for some reason, they will be able to heal themselves. Now, you may have noticed that most of the area around your base is black. This is because it is undiscovered zone. When your workers walk into the undiscovered zone, that zone becomes discovered and you can see what's in it. Unfortunately, it is quite difficult to control workers in such a manner as to have them explore the undiscovered zone. Fortunately, there is a unit made just for this. It is called the Explorer. Click on your swarm now. Look about halfway down the menu and you'll notice three bars. Well, um, halfway down the menu in certain res if this, the game included scaling, a scaling mechanism. For me, it's basically right up the top. Um, it's about a quarter of the way down, not half. So, but you know, minor little things. You will notice three bars in, you know, in some area in the menu, labeled Worker, Explorer, and Warrior. You will also notice that the Worker bar has one small notch in it. If we want to make an Explorer, we have to increase a notch on the Explorer bar. You now have one notch for Workers and one notch for Explorers. This means that the Swarm will create Explorers and Workers half and half one worker, and then one explorer. But this is not what we want. We would like to get one explorer immediately, rather than waiting. So decrease one notch for workers, and explorers will be the only type of unit that is created. All right. Now increase the new number of units assigned to the swarm back up to one. Oh, I forgot to decrease that earlier. I was supposed to... I think I pressed space too quickly. Earlier on, there was one that I missed. Just remember that if the inn has no units assigned to it, it will gradually become empty. So assign one unit to the inn as well. 
I'll say an extra one. Good. Just wait. That explorer will come. I have it here. There it is there. Wow, the explorer is flying. You will notice that this explorer begins circling your base, quickly revealing more of the area to you. Click back on the swarm and wait until another explorer is created. Having two explorers may be useful. Good. Now set the explorer production back a notch and worker production ahead a notch. You can do this in the same way as you did before. Click on the swarm and then click on the up down arrows on the worker and explorer bar respectively. You have one! Okay. I defeated my opponents. Although my opponents seem to have scored higher than me in every single way. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's the first part of the tutorial. I will now go to GitHub and uh, fix those two little <laughs> problems. I hope that you have a good day.